Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha Rekakwadash Ma'amath. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elder as well, Ahar One, Bayasha Allah, and the Lions Day Camp. And the salutations to the fellow Akim, our wife and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother Athan Yahweh, back to another lesson, and Yahweh Ratazah is edifying. I'm going to start off in the book of James, chapter 4, and verse 3. <clears throat> this is James 4 and 3. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. You know, that's ultimately what two-thirds of our people do. All right. Um, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those are the speckled bird. All right. They ask the Lord. All right. As the scriptures say, our people have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. You know, they ask of the Lord, but they ask according to their worldly heart, their worldly mindset. You know, um, they ask for fleshly things. They might ask in a miss. You go into that term, a miss. They ask. He acts amiss, G2560. Strong's G2560. Kakos. 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 Meaning what? They, they act miserably. They act to be ill. They act improperly. They act wrongly. They act to speak ill of. You know, they ask him for the wrong reasons. You know, again, as the scriptures say, our people have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge that ye may consume it upon your lust. Right. They may consume it upon their lust with the understanding that what the spirit without the and, and two thirds of our people don't have the understanding that what the spirit in the flesh is always in battle. All right. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Verse four, ye adulterers and adulterers. Salakia, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is empty with Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, whosoever therefore would be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? Right, because it do. Again, the flesh, the flesh is never fulfilled. All right, so again, that spirit that dwells in us is always being afflicted in battle, being in this flesh, you know, being in the uh, chains of darkness, as the scriptures speak, as Paul spoke about, all right? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble, man. That's the point I wanted to get, you know, verse 6 of how what, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the heavenly father and his only begotten son, resist the proud, but giveth grace unto unto the humble, man, right? As the scriptures say, he deal with those of a meek and a contrite spirit. From there, I want to go to the book of Psalms 138 and 6. Though the Lord be high, yet have he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off, man, right? It was one of the things that the Lord hate, you know, a proud look, you know, um, pr being pr proud in general. All right, pride wasn't built for man. All right, having a stiff neck, being stern um, and stubborn, so to speak, in your own way. You know, the Lord will, will break you down. All right, even the things that you would say or think that you wouldn't do, the Lord will make you do it. All right, he'll bow down on your back. This is Proverbs 29. And 23, a man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit, man, right? Because what honor, as the scriptures say, honor and then humility, honor, honor and humility, all right? Honor comes before humility, you know, roughly paraphrasing, all right? But what a man's pride shall bring him low, it will bring him to a low, a low estate. A low degree, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. You know, it's about being honorable. 
It's Proverbs 18 and 12. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. All right, before honor is humility. You know what it said? Pride comes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So it's what? See the term humility, meekness. Strong's age, 6,038. Anava. Anava. Second entry. Anava. Anava. Humility, meekness. Anva. All right, gentleness, meekness. What you shall show, you know, ultimately bearing the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But I'll end off with the book of Matthew, chapter 23, and verse 8. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. You know, and ultimately the Lord does the exalting. You know, and again, going back to what the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. All right, knowing that we can't even take in our own mind of what to do. We have to go and flow with the spirit because the spirit is going to guide us both for good and bad, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Man moves accordingly, man. Proverbs 20 and 24, you know, man's goings is of the Lord. You know, how could a man understand his own way? But ultimately being meek and lowly is what you want to be. You know, that's ultimately what the, the Lord deals with on the good side of things, on the, on the righteous side of things, on his right hand. You know, he, he deals with those of a meek and a contrite spirit. And as we brought out, all right, um, so we want to be humble, meek and lowly in heart, all right, with a contrite spirit, not proud, not boasting, you know, not wanting to gain a, a certain position or spot, like as if this was a job, you know, even though it is a job. You know, we all workmen doing our duty with the hopes of being saved. And Yahweh Ratzizah, this lesson was edifying. Shalom, Habatah, and DTA to the next one.